Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a new Will I Buy It. I post my Will I Buy It series every single Wednesday, chatting over new makeup releases, my thoughts on them, and if I'm planning to pick them up or if I'm going to skip over them. I will have my playlist linked down below as well as the community playlist, which I started so any creator who makes this style of new releases video can add theirs to the playlist if you want to check out what a bunch of different people are thinking on all of these new releases. But we do have a lot to chat about today, so let me go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so I mentioned in a recent video, which video was it, ranking my blushes, that I got a new bite so I've been trying to get used to having this new light. I didn't like totally love it in that video so I kind of changed the placement of it. It has these like arm things that I can like move around and stuff so I don't know it's just playing around with that and trying to decide what I like the best so lighting is probably going to be a little bit different and you know it's probably just going to take me a little bit until I find the perfect spot for it and what I'm going to do with it. So I do not, like that kind of stuff does not come naturally to me. So <laughs> just going to point that out. I did also curl my hair today. I cut uh, quite a few inches off my hair a couple weeks ago. And this is the first time that I've tried curling it to see like what it would look like with the shorter length. I did film it for an Instagram video. So that will be up soon if it already is. I will link it to my channel if you want to see how I curl my hair. But I just kind of wanted to get an idea of what my curls would look like with shorter hair I don't know what I think yet either like I I'm just I just cut I cut off more than I thought I was going to I like it but I feel like I almost have been liking it straight more like I've been straightening my hair more instead of curling it I don't know it's just, it's a very small thing, but it's like weirding me out. But I just wanted to give it a try, you know? Go ahead and jump into the new releases. As always, um, like hours after I finished filming a Will I Buy It video, ColourPop announces a new release. So uh, I didn't know that I was feuding with ColourPop, but <laughs> apparently I am. I didn't know, I, I have firmly gotten the message, not ColourPop. Uh, you do not want me to include your new releases in a timely manner. I understand, I, I understand. You don't say anymore. I understand. I'm just kidding, of course. But it is kind of funny. And even last week, I filmed on a Tuesday. I normally film on Mondays for my Will I Bite video. And today that I'm filming is a Monday. Last week, I filmed on a Tuesday because I was still playing catch up from getting back from New York. And I was like, okay, feeling good. And I, I, I swear, it was like, I don't know, maybe like four hours after I finished filming, another new release got announced. I'm like, why? <laughs> Why? Because then of course when I post my Will I Buy It on Wednesday, everyone's like, but wait, what about the new collection? I'm like, well, there was a new collection last week too. Okay. So this week we have the Bye Bye Birdie collection from ColourPop. So this includes the Bye Bye Birdie eyeshadow palette for $18. Then we have a bunch of different releases just like always with ColourPop. You have a mascara bundle, you have the blush stick duo, stuff, some jelly much eyeshadows in here, and then some more false lashes and nail art decals. So I got their uh, first set of lashes and neat need decals no nail decals sent over to me and they came out as part of like the whatever collection uh i've tried out the queenie lashes now three times that came with that one and i do like them the first time i used them i was on camera and sometimes i'm just not as skilled putting makeup on on camera than i am off camera uh especially when it comes to, like lashes liner i don't just things like that like i'm just uh, I'm just not that good at doing it on camera. So the first time I used them was on camera. wasn't great and I was kind of like, oh, we'll see. But the other two times I've used the Queenie lashes and I was able to like take my time and not be worried about lighting and camera angles and all of that. Uh, I felt like I was able to handle them a lot easier. So I have been liking them and they're only $8 each, which, which is a pretty good price. So I was excited to see out of the collection, I was like, ooh, more false lashes. Like that's what excited me. And I don't even wear false lashes as much these days. But I think it's because I liked the ColourPop ones so much that I got excited for them again. Uh, for the eyeshadow palette, I don't know. It's pretty. I do think it's pretty, but I still want to purchase the Smoke Show, which I still haven't. I actually, I have the ColourPop website pulled up on my computer. It's one of probably um, 42 tabs that are pulled up on my computer right now. And I'm trying to get two seconds to purchase that palette. I talked last week that I don't try to make purchases just really fast. Like I like to be able to take my time. I like to make sure I have discount codes in there, Ebates in there, whatever it may be. And I try not to just like, oh, I'm going to buy that book fast because that's when I miss codes. That's when I like impulse buy and just different things like that. So we'll see if I ever end up being able to check out with the smoke show. I feel like I feel like the entire month of October is going by in a blur for me. I have no idea how 
we're almost to November. This is just wild to me. Looking at the calendar, I'm like, where did this month go? It's just been crazy. But also what's really getting into my craziness right now is my eighth novel is about here. It is done with proofreading. It is into formatting right now, which means I'm doing everything behind the scenes, like the ISBN number, the copyright, uh, like writing my acknowledgments and uh, like updating my author bio on Amazon and um, actually submitting the book to distributors for my book to become on sale. So that is actually a lot. Um, it is a lot of time. It is a lot of work. It is a lot of everything going on at one time, getting things ready for like, am I going to do like the pre-orders again, um, ordering the print copy for me to look at to make sure everything looks okay. Once we get into publishing release time, it is like nonstop. It is just crazy. I, I like, it's just wild. So I expect me to be all over the place until this book releases because it is just go, go, go every single day doing something for this book. I'm really excited because it means that I will be able to announce the release date for uh, the sixth Lauren, which is my eighth novel, the third book in the sixth series. That book is coming very soon. Stay tuned. I'm very excited. That's what I've been working on. So uh, if I'm purchasing anything from ColourPop, honestly, I'm going to be purchasing the Smoke Show palette still. Um, so not a whole ton from the collection really caught my eye besides uh, the lashes. Like it might be one of those things where maybe I would throw an extra pair of lashes into my bag. Again, they're only $8, which I don't think is too bad. Um, most lashes that I tend to like and gravitate towards are at least at like the $14 mark, if not a little bit higher. So if I can find lashes that I really do like at $8, that would make me pretty excited. I'm probably going to skip over this palette. I just feel like it's not, like it didn't catch my attention enough. Uh, I like the pink packaging and I, you know, I, I like all of that, but uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and pass over most from the collection so you can let us know what you think about that. Uh, I feel like the other really exciting news that came out this week was that Tati is... Uh, uh, launching her own beauty brand. So Tati Westbrook, she's a, a very well-known YouTuber. She's She's been on YouTube for many, many years now. Um, she's launching a beauty line. So she has already launched more of a... What do you call that line? I don't even know. It's called Halo Beauty. She has like the hair, skin, and nails vitamins and things like that. Uh, so now she's actually releasing Tati Beauty is what it's called. The first product that's releasing is an eyeshadow palette. It's going to be available October 25th at 10 a.m. PST online at Tati Beauty. So that is where you, where you will be able to purchase it. Uh, I will say when I saw the first photo and she had like some swatches on her arms, I was like, ooh, like I'm, I'm curious about this. Like what's going on here? The eyeshadow palette is just slightly larger than I think I was hoping it for it to be because, you know, I just, I like my minis. It's why I still haven't purchased the So Jada pal palette from ColourPop and Kathleen Lights, even though I really do like that one. It's because it's so big. So this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 times 4 is 24. <laughs> Don't quote me. Looking at it, I, I am intrigued by it. I like the different rows. Of the shades I love those like shimmer glittery like metallic goodness at the top there so let me actually read the trend mood one um, post it says includes beautiful fall shades and some sparkly foiled colors to glam it up for the holidays there's four different textures matte sequin metallic and glitter and then there's six tones which I don't know if I fully get that says memory ritual story soothe aura and poet Oh, I get it. I get it. At the bottom, that's what they're saying is the tones, and then they go up the rows. I get you. I get you. I, mm, I get what you're throwing down. So even though it's a little bit larger than I was hoping, I kind of am still intrigued by it, especially seeing the swatches. I just thought that it looked really pretty. Uh, so I don't know. We don't have a price on this one either, so I'm, I'll probably need to see the price tag before I make any decisions. I truly have no idea um, what the price point could be. So I don't know. We'll see. I do like Tati. I do watch some of her videos here and there. I'm not absolutely like a 100% diehard, but I think that she some pretty cool things like Halo Beauty wasn't necessarily for me because especially at the time like I just I just don't really take stuff like that I don't take like the supplements or the vitamins unless like my doctor tells me I should take something um but other than that it's just like a personal preference I don't do it but I thought it was interesting that she was doing something different um so that was cool to see but now I'm 
I'm not surprised to see her launching also the beauty side of it also and I'm excited for it and I think this this first palette does look really pretty so I want to see the price on it and all of that but definitely let us know what you're thinking about that release from Tati Beauty are you so excited to see this are you definitely grabbing it uh, I would love to know speaking of lashes and also influencer brands uh, crispy is coming out with her own line and this is focusing on lashes so crispy is coming out with unscripted beauty uh, it says Oh, say hello to a new brand all about lashes. Unscripted Beauty by the one and only Crispy. So they have four different lash styles launching Risky, Blueprint, Legendary, and Level Up. Uh, so again, like I was saying, I, I don't wear false lashes as much these days. I don't see a price on these either. Uh, wait, what's today's date? Is today the 21st? I don't even know. Today is the 21st. Let me see if they've launched yet. I also have Lash Strip Adhesive, a lash applicator. Uh, and you can purchase the lashes separately or you can also purchase a bundle of them. So the lashes are $25 or you can purchase the bundle with all four for $100. Okay, I, I'm not very good at math, but it appears you don't get a discount if you get the bundle. Okay, that's kind of odd, but normally that's like why you bundle things. It's like, oh, like get a discount. I don't know. Um, $25. That's pretty pricey for lashes. Um, you know, I've done it. I've spent that much money on lashes, but I don't prefer to. And especially with right now, just not wearing lashes as much. I just don't think that I would, I would pay $25 for lashes at this time. I, again, I, I'm familiar with Crispy, um, but I just, I don't really watch her videos on any sort of like regular basis. I used to watch her just a little bit back in the day, but really not even too much. I just didn't connect with her super easily. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pass over those lashes, but I know a lot of people really do love her. So you have to let us know if you're interested in that, but wanted to mention another influencer brand that has now launched. I will have that website linked in my description box, of course. And we have another influencer brand. Okay. So this is from ShanXO. She is dropping heaps of sweets palette created by ShanXO. It says this is her brand. So I think the palette is called heaps of sweeps and maybe ShanXO is her brand name. I'm not 1000% sure on that one, uh, but this is going to launch November 1st online at the XO Beauty shop. So uh, this eyeshadow palette, it, it looks pretty. I like the outer packaging and I like the name, Heaps of Sweets. That's like super cute. I'm really like, I feel that. I, I quite enjoy that. Um, once again, I'm, I, it's not that I dislike any of these people that I'm talking about. I'm just not super familiar with them. You know that we kind of have those people and everyone is so different. It's so cool to see like who it is that everybody kind of gravitates towards. I, I'm not super familiar with Shanna XO myself, but the palette looks really fun and that's, you know, what an exciting thing to come out with your own brand and your own stuff and all of that, but I'm going to skip over that one too. And there is a new collaboration and this is with Sigma Beauty and Roxette Arisa. So Roxette is coming out with her own brush set with Sigma Beauty. The complete set is $87. You get a bronzer brush, a strobing fan brush, the winged liner brush, tapered blending, and also medium sweeper. This is a limited edition custom set. It's hand painted rose and gold ombre handles and a custom brush brush cup for travel or display. The brushes look very pretty. I, I like that ombre effect to them with the black and then it fades into the gold or the gold and it fades up into the black however you would like to see it. Those do look really really pretty. I'm a huge fan of Sigma brushes. I highly recommend them. I've been purchasing them since I first got on YouTube and everybody was raving about them. Um, and so I, I've, I've been seeing them do a lot of different of these like favorite kind of brush sets with different influencers. I've bought so many of them myself too because a bunch of my friends had the opportunity to do it which I just thought was the coolest thing. Uh, so this set does look really pretty. And once again, it's kind of interesting. I'm not um, like hugely familiar with rock set myself, but I know when I was in New York with Ipsy Live, like Kelly Gooch's and we were watching a panel and rock that was on the panel and I remember them announcing her and I looked Kelly was behind me and I turned around I was like oh that's like that's your girl like that's who you like it's like so again it's just really it's fun to see and obviously not everybody's going to love one person not everyone's going to dislike one person but it's kind of fun to see like who it is that we who we like and uh, I will say that uh, she also did seem very very sweet uh, she was kind of standing 
outside of Ipsy Live too when I was able to talk to Madison Miller. She was there too talking to people and I'm pretty sure Kelly talked to her also which is just a really awesome thing. So a huge congratulations to her. Uh, I really really like how they did these brushes too. I definitely do have a ton of um, Sigma brushes myself but I'm very curious about the F27 Iconic Bronze. It says she created this brush from scratch from the shape to the type of bristles to the density. That has me really curious because everyone else I'm pretty sure I've seen has been kind of um, doing their favorites like the um, like the E06 is a Sigma staple, the E54, the E40, those are two of my favorites from Sigma Beauty. So I'm really curious about that and I think that these are really pretty. The, uh, the entire set is $87. I mean, you can never have too many eye brushes. I don't loved, I don't use like the fan brushes a ton for highlighting. I don't know. I kind of just want that one bronzer brush. Like, can you buy that one? Like, I wish I could buy that one separately because I kind of just want that one. But uh, I think that these are going to be available now. So I will link it down below. I do have my Sigma affiliate discount code. It is uh, Samantha if you want to take some money off your order. But definitely let us know too if you're interested in that collaboration with Roxette Arisa. So Urban Decay is coming out with some more uh, mini on the run palettes. My Instagram is doing that thing where every time I click it, like I click a post, it clicks off of it. So I have to like it's very challenging. <laughs> so I feel like this video is probably going to be really choppy with me having to pause and like go back. And sometimes, a lot of times it just kicks me out to like, so I'm on the trend mood one page. So I'll, I'll click a post and it'll take me back to like her profile in general, like her regular feed. But sometimes it's even been kicking me all the way back to like the search page. So I, if this video is super choppy in editing, I do apologize. But otherwise it's just going to be me sitting here trying to pull these back up on my phone. Very frustrating. Instagram does this every once in a while and it's super annoying. But Urban Decay is coming out with these two new on the run mini eyeshadow palettes. We have G Train and Highway Queen. These are going to be available October 25th online at Sephora. So Urban Decay did release some of them. I have the red one. I believe it's called Shortcut. Or is it considered the pink one? I can't remember. I can't remember for sure, but I believe it's called Shortcut. I still do have it. I really do enjoy the on the run palette, the big palette from Urban Decay. I do think it's really nice. It has a bomb mirror in that palette for sure. The mini palettes I liked. Um, I wasn't like too insane over them, but the top one, which is the Highway Queen, that looks, that one looks really pretty, but I just, I don't think I need it. I like the mini palettes. I like the concept behind them. I like having a less amount of shades, a smaller palette in general, and more of a color story. If you're a green lover, I bet that you would probably really like uh, the G Train is what that one is called, but I don't think I need it. There's been so many eyeshadow palettes within probably the last like what three, four weeks of my Will I Bite videos that I'm like ooh 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 ooh, and if something gives me that ooh 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 reaction, that's what I want to look closer at. Look at the price, you know. Do I really, really want this? Do I need it in my collection? At this point, I really don't need anything, so I'm kind of going off of want. And when I saw this, I was like, oh cool, fun, like. That's neat for people who want more, um, like a more variety of colors with these mini palettes. But for me, I didn't get the, ooh, I didn't do a double take or anything like that. So I know that I can skip over them, but of course, just wanting to let you know about the new releases coming out. Uh, we have a couple different new releases from BH Cosmetics. Uh, it's not shocking to have times where we talk about multiple different releases from a BH in a Will I Buy It video, but this one here is going to be available at Ulta. This is for the holidays. This is the Fairy Lights Collection by BH. So you have the Fairy Lights 20 color shadow palette for $20. There's also a shimmering body powder with a mini brush. They also have the Fairy Lights brush set for $26 and it's going to be available on November 1st. I do think the palette looks very pretty. When I first saw this pop up on Trend Mood, I actually didn't know who it was going to be brand wise. Uh, and then I looked a little bit closer and you can see the BH like right like underneath the mirror, like above the shadows under the mirror. I saw the little BH and I was like, oh, okay. I think it looks very pretty. I like that it's almost kind of like I want to use the word mute it when I first look at it, but you have that like hot neon pink in the middle there. So I don't know if that makes the most <laughs> sense. Um, but other than that, I kind of like some of these jewel tones. I think that this one looks very pretty. I'm not a big, huge fan of BH. Their formula doesn't tend to be one that I really gravitate towards and like really, really love. Um, but I have to, I have to say, I do think that palette looks very pretty. You know what is so crazy? So I just said we have two different releases from BH Cosmetics. This clearly shows that I did not read closely enough to these posts. This is, I'm going to put the photos up. This is the same palette and they look completely different to me in these two posts. I look at the one that has like 
maybe a little bit more lighting to it like the um, the palette looks like it has more of a white background I don't understand how these look so different am I wrong no the fairy lights 20 shadow palette these look like completely different palettes to me and I like the one that looks like it has more of a blue background I'm so confused how are these the same exact things I literally just I'm like zooming in to see are the shade names the same because these have to be different palettes no I think that they are the same that is so crazy to me because looking at this first one I'm like oh that's really pretty like I'm interested looking at the second one I'm like oh not as interested like doesn't really call to me as much isn't that crazy how that can happen? Have you guys, I, that this has happened to me multiple times. It's not just BH Cosmetics at all. Like this has happened to me before, but that is kind of crazy to me. So, um, interesting. Let's go ahead and move on. Uh, so Victoria Beckham is, she recently launched her own makeup line also, and she is coming out with another category. So the first one was the eyeshadow palettes, I believe. And now this one is going to be all about lips. So we have the Bitten Lip Tint for $34. It says plump tint and smooth your lips. It's a sheer natural matte lip tint for an effortless flush of color. Then we also have the Lip Definer for $24, which is a precise waterproof, waterproof pencil in six shades. So I don't feel like I'm kind of like the ideal customer for Victoria Beckham Beauty. I probably wouldn't pay $34 for a lip tint. That's, you know, that's kind of pricey. I kind of have certain price points of what I want to spend and like what's the highest amount that I'll spend in a certain category and the lip tints do look really pretty but I'm also not super into like a very like natural looking lip always um I've kind of been wearing a little bit more liquid lips recently which I wasn't wearing them as much now I feel like I'm wearing them a little bit more um I still really though am enjoying my glasses and all of that so just not super interested in the lip tint the lip definer does look nice too but $24 again pretty expensive for a lip pencil and I do have a lot of lip liners that I really do enjoy these days so uh, I'm still gonna pass over those but I think I've been hearing like good things about Victoria Beckham you'll have to let us know if you've tried anything from the first launch or if you're interested in this one but I feel like I've been hearing uh, a lot of positives about the brand so I mean that's a good thing. This formula has some more releases for holidays so they're coming out the Rose All Day Glow Squad Kit for $19.99 uh, this has minis of a cleanser, serum, night cream, uh, SPF also an illuminating setting spray and the ultra rich restorative cream and then they're also coming out with the limited edition uh, butter palettes so we have a few different palettes there's the highlighter palette um, there is also the bronzer palette these are going to be $9.99 everything's going to be available October 22nd and also uh, in November at Target so I do like the little palettes I, I like the formula of these I've been using the Casey Holmes and Physicians Formula Butter Box. I put it in my Shop My Sash for October, and I've been using the brush, the brush, no, the bronzer and the blush a lot out of there. And I really do like the formulas, but I don't think that I would need these palettes. See, I was gonna say maybe if there was one that was like the bronzer, blush, and highlight, I'd be interested in it. And there is one. It's the Glow Face Palette, but I don't love the highlighters as much. So I think that these should. I think that these should be a no for me. Uh, I actually haven't tried the Physicians Formula Skincare. I do have the oil and I do want to give that a try, uh, but I haven't yet. So again, I'm going to pass over those myself from a Physicians Formula, but a few new releases from them. And then also Patrick Ta is coming out with another launch for his beauty line that he recently came out with. This is the Monochrome Moment. Says the second launch, which includes new categories for lips and cheeks. We have four blushes, four lip liners, four liquid lipsticks, and then also new brushes coming out. This is going to be available October 25th, and you can also find his brand at Sephora. I didn't try anything from the first launch. A lot of it was like the body oils, and um, there was like a cool fan in there, and, and things like that. And it was a little bit, again, kind of like kind of out of my price point. And again. I just didn't feel like I'm the ideal customer for the Patrick Todd brand, which is okay. Um, he is a celebrity makeup artist and I feel like I can envision a lot of his products being used on celebrities and like on red carpets. And you know, I'm just sitting here, it's rain, it's like pitch black outside. I don't know if this extra light is helping or making things worse since it's so dark in my office, but 
uh, you know, I'm just sitting here in the cold in Iowa trying to publish another book. <laughs> like, I'm not walking red carpets or going to like celebrity events or anything like that. So, um, I, th I feel like everything with his next launch just looks very luxe. I think the brush that is pictured in here looks really beautiful. Don't get me wrong. Uh, the lip products, the one that reminds me of the Hourglass, the lip liners, it reminds me of the Hourglass like confession lipsticks. Uh, but again, really beautiful packaging on everything. I'll see what the price point is on some of these. I'm assuming it's probably going to be a little bit out of my uh, price point, but you never know. I'll probably give it a, I'll give it a glance at the Sephora website and see because I mean, everything really does look beautiful. It's just, you can't buy everything that's beautiful. If I did, I would just have a house full of facialists. Let's be serious. It's also just announced that Huda Beauty is coming out with some new eyeshadow palettes. These are another ones like looking at them. I wouldn't have thought Huda Beauty right away, but this is the Mercury Retrograde inspired by the teal, purple, and pink colors in Crystal AB, which Huda has been obsessed with since she was little. They created this palette during Mercury Retrograde, typically a chaotic time. Oh, I remember. I remember. And it says, which happens again between October 31st and November 20th. That's fantastic. This palette includes 18 shades with matte, shimmery, metallic, and foil finishes, and it's going to be $67. $67. Make you holla. Mm, make you holla. Mm, or go broke. <laughs> or go broke. <laughs> that doesn't rhyme. You have nine mattes, six high shine creamy metallics, one glitter powder, two sheer multi-reflective shadows, and there's also three new dual-ended acrylic eyeshadow brushes that come in a holographic makeup bag. Okay, so that's fun and and different. Um, you know, it's always fun to see things like getting switched up a little bit, but I think when it comes to Huda Beauty and her eyeshadows, I would like to stick with the smaller Obsessions palettes. Those are nine shades for $27. The new ones that she came out with, I talked about in a recent Will I Buy It video. Those I thought were really pretty. There's like, what are they called? Like light, medium, and deep or something like that for the eyeshadows. But I thought those were really pretty. Uh, I think that this one is, is pretty. I like the packaging is cool and all of that. But not a lot of the colors in there are totally screaming out to me that I absolutely have to have or that I don't already have in my collection and that sort of thing. And $67 is pretty expensive. So again, with her eyeshadows, I do have the new nude palette, which I like and I think it's a good one, but it didn't completely like knock my socks off and I do still tend to prefer her smaller obsessions palettes. So I'm going to pass over that one. And then the last one that I want to talk about, I actually saw on, um, excuse me, I saw on Indie Makeup Spotlight page, um, which is run by Amy from Amy Loves Makeup, who is so sweet. I met her at Ipsy and or the Ipsy live event, and she was so much fun. I watched her try to get ready with me this morning, actually, where she was talking about her experience, and it was, she's just so cute. She, you guys should really watch her. You should really watch her channel or you should just watch her video. Um, she does a lot of these Willy Bite videos and a lot of times she focuses on solely indie makeup releases. So if you really do like the indie releases, definitely check her out. She's a part of the community playlist. I will link her down below and all that good stuff, but definitely recommend you check it out. But she put on there that Melt Cosmetics is coming out with a new palette. I'm probably going to mispronounce it, so I'm just going to put the photo up here and we will go along our merry way. Uh, really beautiful packaging. I think this is a whole collection too, but I'm just going to touch on the palette for right now because we don't have a ton of um, info at this moment. But the palette does look very beautiful. It's got all these like very deep, like rich tones in there. There's some greens, there's some blues, there's a red. It is very, very pretty. Uh, it's not shadows, it's not shades that I myself would wear a ton, but I think a lot of people will be really attracted to this palette. It looks a little bit different from some of like what we've been seeing a lot lately this rain is so loud if you can hear the rain if you have like headphones in i'm so sorry but it is raining out there oh great i have to go out after this and i curled my hair see this is why like why why even bother why even do your hair well i think people who get excited for these colors and these tones are gonna like go wild over this palette for me i'm like oh you know it's it's just not like a me type of thing like i can see 
Amy from Amy Loves Makeup like rocking this palette for sure. She does really beautiful looks with blues and greens and just colors in general and she's very very talented when it comes to makeup. Um, so it's not necessarily a, a me sort of palette but it is very pretty so did want to mention that one and then let me just pop over check the German page just real quick. Okay I haven't seen anything new posted since I last sat down so that is where we are going to end it today. Definitely let me know your thoughts on all of the new releases that we were chatting about. What has your attention? What are you planning to see? skip over. Um, bear with me a little bit on the lighting as I get used to having a new light and all of that. But other than that, if you guys did enjoy this video, I hope that you will give it a thumbs up. If you do engage with the videos, whether by liking or disliking the video or leaving a comment, it will help me continue to pop up in your subscription feed, which would be fantastic. It would be a win-win for everyone. <laughs> I hope that you also consider subscribing before you go, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.